Okay, uh, this is problem is the distribution of charges. I posted the problem in the comments uh, in the in the description section. This is what you should end up drawing after reading that. Um, th this is what the the words on their endo diagram are trying to illustrate. Um, the problem itself does not give you this. You're supposed to be able to figure this out on your own. Pretty simple stuff. Um, so basically, what it's asking for is what's going to where is the electric field going, and how strong is it? Um, each of these is Q, um, it has a charge Q. These two are negative Q, these two are plus Q. Q is 29 microcoulombs. So let's just, let's just kind of draw out here. We know that this plus, pluses give off, so they're going to push. These two are going to push. So one's going to push it that way, one's going to push it that way. Um, so we know that since this is going to have a pushing this way force, and this is going to have, really, I'm not looking at the components really, the X components of these forces, these two forces are going to cancel each other out. So really, if both of these go, it'll just go up, because their X components will cancel. But their Y components here will actually add up. So we have two Y components here. Now let's look at the top. Let's switch colors here. We'll go to yellow. Um, these two are going to pull. Right, they're, they're they're negative, so it's like, hey, come over here, we want you. Um, so they're gonna pull in on this, and we now have um, this this strange thing again, where okay, well, this we're gonna have a four an x component this way, an x component that way, and they're equal, so they're gonna cancel each other out too. So what we've essentially discovered is all the x components are gonna cancel each other out. This 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 particle here is not going left or right. It's going up or down. Um, and from these Y components here, we've got this Y component and this Y component. Um, so these two. So really, it, it, we can just tell by these arrows here, this particle is going north, which is actually the second part of this question if you are online, Kappa. Um, but so this particle is going to go straight up. Now, what's the magnitude of that electrical field? Well. Let's just look. Let, let's think of this from a you know almost physics one perspective. Of, let's just look at our forces here. Um, all of these are going to be the same because they're all the same hypotenuse. They all have the same side and angles and everything. Because this is a, this is a, and then this would um, this would be what uh, two root uh, a root two. Um, that's very badly drawn. I apologize. Um, this would be a root two. If this is a and that's a and we know that this is a square as badly as I drew it and it looks like a rectangle this is a square it's all equal sides of 2a so we know that these are 45 which is actually how I know that a is square root 2 basic geometry there for you um, so now pretty much what we have to do is we, we know that what we're gonna try to find out is we're gonna find this y component if this is gonna be our origin particle this is this guy um, right here I'll draw it in the same color not to draw confusion um, we need to find out the y component. Now, once we have that y component, we have four of them. So we're just going to multiply it by four. Um, so first, let's just say, um, just to make it easier here, I know for sure that there's going to be a four in my final equation because there's four y components. I also know, let's forget about the y component part for a second, that I'm going to have a sine 45 because that's going to give me the y component of my electric field. Now, really what I'm doing is I'm just finding the electric field because then I'm just finding the y component, four of them, and that will give me the final magnitude. What's the formula for the electric field? Well, hopefully you've been paying attention somewhat in physics. Um, it's kq over r squared. Um, so this is the formula for electric field. So really, oh, I froze up a bit there. Um, that is the formula we are using. You plug in everything into there, and that's going to give you the magnitude of this oh, this really big force that is the combination of all of these little y components adding up. Um, plugging in all these things, k uh, is your k constant of, well, depending on what your teacher uses, times 10 to the negative ninth. Um, q is going to just be 29 microcoulombs, so that's going to be 10 to the negative 6. Um, r squared is going to be a root 2 squared, which is going to end up giving you, uh, I guess I'll just draw it down here. Uh, we have, no, no one's going anywhere. Um, this is 8.99 times 10 to the negative 9th. 
times q, which is 29 times 10 to the negative 6, um, all multiplied by 4 times sine 45. That is all going to equal, oh, a, I'm uh, sorry, is, is 0 .6, 0 0.0605, because remember, this is in centimeters, and we have to convert it to meters by um, moving over the decimal place. Um, that, anyway, should give you a final answer of 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. I, it seems big, but that is the, the now remember, um, electrical field is in the unit strengths of newtons per coulomb, um, if, uh, if you're wondering that. So yeah, so that's going to be how we solve that type of problem.